What's going on? It's my life in the shot. I'm your host, Donald Washington. Last night, about 11.30 p.m. on Lakeshore Drive in Ontario, a 22-year-old man was shot in the head. He's in fair condition, though. But this was an express, what they call an expressway shoot. This was on Lakeshore Drive, right? Just like I've been telling y'all. I've been saying that there's, I think that there's a serial killer slash shooter. But this particular incident, I said that if it is gangbangers, there's going to be multiple witnesses. The people in the car are going to see the other people, give a description, turn them in. Guess what happened last night in this case? Gangbangers. They saw the dude shooting, throwing up gang signs, a white SUV. Remember that white SUV because a white SUV is going to be in another case that I bring up with the 13-year-old boy, Eric Crawford, that was killed. So... This happened on Lakeshore Drive in Ontario. This happened over here. Now, I kept saying, if it's a gangbangers, they got to lean out the car, they got to drive up on them, they got to lean out, boom, boom, and people going to hear it. And be like, that white SUV. Easy. People in the car are going to be like, white SUV that was shooting at me. None of the expressways, I think it was 57 on I-57, 58, something like that. Countless in just 2021 20, alone. No description. Nobody in custody. So, this happened this morning on the Dan Ryan Expressway on northbound lane near 35th Street. No witnesses, nothing, just a random shooting Shots fired. They don't know who shot. They don't have a description. They have nothing. They just saying that the bullets rarely miss this person's head. Look at the vehicle. They didn't, but, but that's a working vehicle. That ain't gangbangers right there. That's random. This happened by 8.30 a.m. this morning. I was following another shooting last night. This happened on 30, by 8.30 um, this morning. Today, which is May 19th. The other one on Lakeshore Drive was 11.30 p.m. And that was gangbangers. Easily. All types of witnesses. Says, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, we saw a white SUV. So I was saying if, if the ones on the expressway, because everybody just like, oh, just gangbangers, just gangbangers, just gangbangers, just wrote it off like that. I'm like, yo, you got to ride up on them. Somebody going to see them and be like, oh, license plate, blah, blah, blah. So in this other case, 13-year-old. Boy, Eric Streeter was shot. And guess by who's the description? White SUV. He has two siblings. This is in McKinley Park. I'm going to take you guys out to where it happened at. He was shot in the head and the neck. He was on life support. Um, yesterday, his family, um, his mom, Patricia, decided to take him off. No brain function. Very sad case. In this particular issue. Um, but what I want to show you guys in this. White SUV. And look at what's out here. On 3700 block of Southwood. A camera. This is on tape. Where is the tape? Who did it? They have, they have footage of it. Where is it? Why ain't they releasing it? I did a video where there was a sister that was killed and somebody hacked that camera and put it out there. Then all of a sudden they said, ah, I see, okay, we got the suspects. And I'm like, wait a minute, y'all wasn't going to have no suspects until the video came out. That camera was hacked. I did that video. People call me a conspiracy theorist. I watched the purge where they just were sitting back watching them cameras and was like, boop. Look, another, another murder. Whoop, another murder. Those cameras, they're telling people, oh, those don't work. People jumped in my comment section like, oh, those cameras don't work. Those cameras don't work. Those cameras don't work. And I'm like, they work. And they're crystal clear. If you guys haven't seen that video I just did, go to My Life in the Shy's YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and check out the video I did on that shooting. 
So this is the young man's Facebook, uh, not Facebook, GoFundMe right here. They're saying Erica's love and carry child who was in the wrong place at the wrong time as the families take another family member to the emergency room. Eric was going to cope with his grandfather having to be taken to the hospital as he was riding his bike in McKinley Park neighborhood. He was shot multiple times, leaving him in critical condition as um, we all uh, did not expect for this to happen. So they're saying he's a loving kid. He was headed to the eighth grade. 13. They're saying that possible targeted by rival gang members. However, they don't believe he was in a gang. Just a random like riding his bikes, like video games. At this point, I'm hearing all types of rumors that gangs tried to recruit him. However, a lot of times, gangs is like this. If you beefing with another gang in another hood, you go out there and you blast anybody that's out there, look of age, look like they're claiming that set or that hood or that block. Whoever out there, gangs feel like, you know, you claiming that hood, no matter who you are. It's unfortunate tragedy. Um, put those guns down. There's way too many guns out there in the streets. There's cameras on every corner out there. Who's watching them? Where's the footage? Why is it less than 10% of the murders being solved? It's getting hot. It's getting warm. This weekend, it's going to be, um, what is, it's going to supposed to be 80, no, 70 today, 83 tomorrow, but it's going to be in the 90s, Saturday and Sunday. I'm saying that because the only thing you could do right now, I'm telling y'all, I felt that the police were standing down and there's, evidence of them sending text messages and social media posts saying hey fellow officers last year after the George Floyd hey they want to protest us fine let them have at it we'll step down also people are talking about defund the police and I was like yo and they're like oh okay y'all want to protest us I tell y'all what have at it and I felt that and the numbers show it. Less than 10% are being solved. So, is that a conspiracy theory? I don't know. But do I feel that the police are standing down like, all right, cool, y'all want to talk this and that? The mayor want to say what she want to do, reorganize us and go against us? Y'all all against us? I'm going to step back. Best thing you could do, the reason why I say that is certain areas, man, y'all got to get y'all kids out of there. You got a 13-year-old son. That was a two-year-old. I lost count. I was going to do all the kids shot. I'm actually really tired of it. I stopped sharing that on my Facebook uh, channel. Every day, two-year-old got shot this weekend. She's going to live. 15-year-old just got shot yesterday. I think it was a she and she's going to live. 13-year-old boy. I lost count. I stopped counting. Um, also... Yeah, if there's anything good in Chicago, please feel free. Shout out to everybody that's sending me stories. Feel free to send me stories. Make sure you guys on Facebook, share this video, go to YouTube, go to My Life in the Shy, hit that um, notification button, leave me a comment. I read all of them. I, I try to respond to most of them. If I don't respond, I'll just heart it. Shout out to everybody sending me stories. You can send me stories to my Facebook. Facebook, that's been the most popular so far. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think about this video. Peace, y'all.